Hey guys, <clears throat> I had a few people ask me about the uh, axles and how we did them. So I got this thing pulled up here for the uh, for the falls. That way I can get it all painted and get the bearings greased and everything before winter. This thing's shoot going on four years old now, so she's holding up good. I need to touch up the paint a little and don't mind the mess. We were building deer stands. Anyways, I'll jump right into this, show you as best I can now that there's no snow. So how we did this, let me get underneath here. So as you can see on the end here, this is a two and a half inch solid stock bar. Uh, welds all the way through, cut it out with the plasma cutter all the way through. It's hard to see underneath here, but you can, it's covered in foam and it goes back to that other support. So there's about oh, a foot and a half of it underneath there, uh, just to give it a little added stability. Anyways, uh, coming out this side, what we did is uh, found a chunk of heavy wall tubing that fits almost perfect right over this uh, two and a half inch pipe. And we cut that into three pieces. So we cut it into a, a half inch thick chunk. Uh, you can kind of see right there. And then uh, whatever this ended up being about nine inches or so. And then an uh, inch and a half, I believe, is what the cap was. And what we did was weld it on that small piece. And all it does is it gives you a little bit of a spacer in between here. And then it also makes it so this isn't rubbing up against your actual frame and lets you burn a nice big we uh, weld on there. Um, and we cut these holes through, by the way, with a plasma cutter. If you got one, uh, that's, th that's the way to do it for sure. But you could use a torch or drill, I guess, if you had one big enough. Anyways, um, so then this slides over. We drilled and tapped it for a... Uh, uh, greaser and then on this end we drilled all the way through and put a bolt so that what that allows us to do is if we have any issues like let's say for example this thing starts to uh gets bent or something which it shouldn't but if it ever did out on the ice i can pull this one bolt take the whole assembly take it back to the shop fix it slide it back on easy peasy um then this here uh same tubing uh same tubing used for the frame uh two by three and a half or maybe it's not just two by four um so two by four heavy wall tubing and then we gusseted the crap out of it this gusset's important because um where the uh i'll show you here there's a spindle that we had to weld through i wonder if i can get it in there i'll have to turn the camera sorry guys um so we welded a spindle through um all that torque from the weight wants to twist this so that's why this gusset's in there at an angle prevents any twist and we haven't had any issues um, so this is just a spindle, a 3,500 pound spindle that we ordered. Um, welded that through. How we set up the leaves, I'll show you as best I can here. I wish I could get to the back for you. Um, so basically, uh, let me see if I can get a better shot. Yeah, kind of sort of. I'm turn the camera again, guys. Sorry. So we built the box coming up here. This tubing is two inch. Uh, so that means it's an inch and a half inside, which uh, is perfect because that's what the leaf spring is. So the leaf spring is actually sitting on top. Some people shove them in, but the problem is, is if you don't allow this to move as it flexes, then you're really only using this part for the leaf spring instead of being able to whole use, use the whole leaf just like a regular trailer. So this one's actually bolted on back there. It sits right on top. We've got this gusseted in so the leaf can move freely, but it can't slide off and then uh, there's that little bolt that holds these leaves together we actually drilled a hole and it's slotted so as this can move um, and as this moves up and down the the uh, leaf can move in there as well and then this just comes back to a regular shackle that uh, ugh, we mounted to another chunk of tubing right there and then of course I didn't have to on that but I gusted everything and then uh, bar comes up and over with your pulley down and up um, these winches spend more than 30 bucks on winches guys these are amazon specials they're getting replaced this year with some nice stainless steel cables um yeah um everything i bought for this all came the leaf springs amazon shackles amazon the 3500 pound uh, spindles uh with with, I think they had the hub on the spindle. That was all Amazon. I even got the tires mounted on the rims on Amazon. So if you got a computer, yeah, you can do this yourself. And this is, this thing is four years old. 
I use the crap out of it in the winter time. It's been, uh, I live in central Minnesota, Ottertail County area. Uh, it's been up to Red Lake a couple times. It's been to Mille Lacs. It goes all over the local lakes around my place. And as you can see, still straight, still true. Um, no issues. Suspension holds up really well. I just keep it, like I said, I grease it. Um, yeah. I don't know. If there's anything else somebody wants to see, you let me know. And I'll try to add it in there. But uh, basically sums it up. Hopefully that gives you guys a few ideas on how... How I did it. All right. Take care, guys.